Hey, what's up guys? Just wanted to do a little update, a little dirt vlog here about this tree I just took down. It's an old, I don't know what it is actually, it's spalted, it might be an ash tree, but it's pretty big. Um, spalted tree, got some crazy uh, crotch there, three way. That'd be sweet to make a table leg out of, pretty awesome. Let me show you guys what I'm doing. So you can see the rot in this thing. Actually, when I was falling it, I was trying to make it fall this way and the back half of it fell off and got pretty close to me actually it was a little nerve-wracking um, but yeah so I've been trying to cut into good sections you can see this one here is probably 18 to 20 inches long I'm sorry wide and I cut it at 10 feet long and look how straight that thing is this one's got a little hook in it another piece over there let me show you some of the spalting So it's going to be cool. Uh, most of the smaller stuff I just turned into firewood. And I try to chase this rot back as far as it goes. Um, so that I know that there's no bugs in the core. This one I just started cutting this way. But there's a crotch down there too. So I'm thinking about just cutting the rot out like this. Um, so I can get rid of that. And I've just been burning it, but you can see how, how rotten that is. We've also got some uh, walnut cookies to make. That's a piece of locust that can't cut so freaking hard. A couple more. I'm just burning them down there. Some more spalting. So now I'm just going through with some old latex paint I had and just brushing the ends. Of course, I forgot to get a clean cut on those ones, but going through, brushing the ends of all of them. You can buy that log sealer, but uh, I think this works just fine for what I'm doing. So I literally just fill this up, take my roller, and coat the crap out of it. And we'll let this stuff sit and dry for a little bit, and then uh, the bark peels right off. Um, especially in the summer I have like a I'll show you my tool I have it's basically like a big uh, angle spade but yeah so as I sit here coating these I got to thinking uh, I'm almost out of latex paint so if you guys are trying to do you know a small home operation like this a little sawmill action with an Alaskan mill DIY it kind of go to the uh, Home Depot or Lowe's whatever and uh, they always have that paint that is the oops paint and I'm not entirely sure but I'm pretty sure latex is the best for sealing this it might just be the cheapest you can buy like real log sealer but it's like I think it's like 75 or 80 bucks a gallon um, I saw it on Amazon once I think Matt Cremona uses it but uh, I'm just kind of doing this as a hobby so I think just maybe this is better than nothing and I should have done this when I cut these down or when I got them, I you know. And I, I actually just forgot I have some cherry. I'll show you guys that uh, I gotta coat that as well. But uh, yeah, it's already starting to check somewhat in these cookies in the centers. You wanna dry them slow. That's the, that's the trick to not cracking a cookie. Cookie, I mean, uh, Cut like this and around but because it's an end grain it's super hard to uh, keep it from cracking I also milled this about a year ago just to experiment leaving it out with nothing it's actually pretty straight I think I left that at 8 quarter that's also spalted so we'll have to plane that down one of these days just thought I'd do a quick uh, cell phone update video because been super busy once again but I want to get you guys some content um, once these logs set a little bit we get the bark off of them the weather gets a little warmer um, we're gonna break out the Granberg chainsaw Alaskan mill chainsaw mill um, and we got a new 36 inch bar for our saw so we're gonna make some sweet lumber um, Granberg sent us out some stuff um, I'm gonna start setting that up this week to put the auxiliary oiler on the saw and a cool sharpener I'm going to show you guys how to use. So 
stay tuned for those videos and more into their chup stuff. Thanks. Give me a thumbs up if you like these little vlog updates. Thanks. Also, I stepped in dog crap. Let's smell it. Yep, just ran out of paint. Um, yep, just ran out of paint, so gonna have to go to get some cheap stuff. But if you guys wanna find lumber like this, make some buddies with uh, lumber yard people. I'm sorry, make some buddies with uh, landscapers or tree sawyers. They take this stuff down for a premium and they don't care about the wood. Um, if you try calling around, most people, most, uh, if you try calling around to a bunch of tree services, they're going to start trying to charge you, um, because they think it's worth something, but quite honestly, I've seen them, what they do, they cut it in the rounds, nine times out of ten, throw it in the chipper or in a dump. Uh, so, make some buddies with some guys, talk around, and, uh, they'll give you some stuff for free. And some of it's junk, some of it's good, but you may find that walnut gem tree, you know, that diamond in the rough and uh, it'll be worth it just for that and when you're done your lard will your yard will look like this 